Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my Tower of Fantasy videos where today I'm going to be showing a little bit of Lane's gameplay and then after this video, I do definitely plan on making a guide for her whenever it gets translated to English. I'm going to go over it and I'm going to basically, you know, tell you how to play her the best way I know how to, of course, because it is in Chinese. Another thing is, I'm going to be showing off for a little bit of her gameplay today. And not only that, we got this new beautiful area. Let me open up the map. Now, if you don't want any spoilers, don't fin continue watching this video, I guess. But this technically is already a spoiler with the thumbnail and all that other nonsense. But yeah, this is a new area. It's the underwater area. Yes. Something that I have never seen on another game that's have an anime gotcha in it. I, I did not know how to word that well. <laughs> Well, the best thing I can think of is Genshin don't have it, right? So, we'll come over here. And I'll show you exactly what we can do in here. It's so beautiful. We'll drop into the water and we'll press the beautiful L button on my keyboard. As it lights up and glows in the dark. And we'll look through here. And this is the underwater area. Now, I know this don't look like much right here. But that's because I'm, you know, near the beach. It's like the beach area. If I was to like assume and yes you can attack underwater you can do everything that you're able to do on land and the water you're even able to still um, swim on the surface of it if you like to now the thing is a lot of questions are probably gonna come up with well if it's shadow are you still able to you know swim in it no no you are not <laughs> only in deep parts so we're gonna go ahead and get out this water cuz you know this is not what this video is about it's about Elaine's gameplay which is what we all want to see. Which is my favorite character right now in Tower of Fantasy for gameplay. So the first thing that you got to know is she has this umbrella. Her whole kit is going to be based around umbrellas. And you know, I always wanted as a kid and even as an adult, I always wanted to have a character that fights with an umbrella in one of these like RPGs or MMOs. I just thought that was a really cool thing. I just was like, I always had this image like, how hard would it be for an anime character to fight with a goddamn umbrella? Me personally, if it was up to me, I'd create a character with an umbrella, which I have. I wrote a manga. We're not gonna talk about it though. <laughs> so, the first thing is her little charge attack. When you're initially not doing anything and you're standing still and you're just walking down the beach like how I am, you can place one umbrella. That's the maximum you can do with the charge attack, at least with A0. I'm not saying A3 or A6, just A0, which is the only copy that I have. You place an umbrella and only one can exist at a time while using the charge attack. So, if you already got umbrellas down, you're not going to be able to spawn a new umbrella um, using this charge attack. So this only works with one. And you cannot summon a new one. <laughs> well, you can summon a new one, but the old one is going to be replaced. So, that's pretty cool. See? Another cool thing that you're able to do with this umbrella is if you place it in the air, you're able to alt to it. You'll get a six second cooldown. And you'll float for a little bit. And I took fall damage, of course. If you want to place it forward, you'll press the skill. Six seconds cooldown still. And the umbrella is looking sexy as usual. Alright. <laughs> Another thing is her gliding mechanic. As you can see, simply by me just jumping, I'll take it into gliding. Gliding consumes no stamina, which is really cool. As you can see, no stamina. My stamina bar is not popping up in any shape, way, or form. Even using the charge attack consumes no stamina, so I can just spam it. All right, just like this. And it's taking no stamina, which is pretty cool. So, now you may be wondering, well, since her charge attack is an umbrella, are you still able to use charge attacks? Absolutely. So, by doing her regular auto sequence, just like this, it'll throw an umbrella at the end. I did 22,000 damage with just the end attack. Right? It's going to just throw the umbrella at the end, which is pretty cool. Comes back to her like a boomerang. Even when you go in the air, it'll do the exact same thing. Even if you go in the water... I just want to showcase the water. Stop it. Even when you go in the water, <laughs> like I said, you're able to attack on the water. It'll still do the exact same thing. All right. So let's go ahead and get out this water. And yeah, there's enemies and bosses and everything under the water. <laughs> so it's pretty cool. But yeah, so that's the thing. 
whenever you do, I think it's one or two autos, you hold the charge attack and she'll turn into a phoenix and launch yourself forward. After that initial, if you continue holding the charge attack, it'll slam her all the way down the ground. So one, two, charge attack, hold the charge attack. Oops, I did that wrong. Hold the charge attack, continue holding it, and it'll slam you on the ground, just as so. You do it in the air, it's going to do the... Oop, I messed that up. You got to do three. Nope, I messed that up. It's not working. It don't work like that. I think you have to initially go in the air with the Phoenix. Nah, it's not working. I don't know why it's not working no more. We're not going to worry about that, though. But you are able to do the charge attack on the ground. That's what I do know for a fact. And you're able to go into the gliding animation right after. Pretty cool. Now, another thing about her is if you go in the air and you hold the charge attack, right? You go in the air and you hold the charge attack. They'll take this spinning thing right here. And this AOE right here, it does consume stamina and it does do damage. It's like fire radiation damage or something. So the best example I could give you is if I walk up to a crab. Is there a crab nearby? I don't think so. I think I killed all the crabs. I've been constantly killing them. They don't want to spawn back. Not after what I did to them. Is this a crab right here? Okay, so we're going to pop a fan down right here. And we're going to jump. And we're going to do that. And as you see, the fans, I mean, not the fans, the fucking umbrella <laughs> spins with it. And it also does that type of fire radiant damage, which is pretty cool. Now, in order for me to show off the discharge skill and the alt, which I think has 11 second cooldown, but I could be entirely wrong. It's probably a, anywhere from 11 to 15 seconds. I'm not sure, but what I do know is the alt has a very low cooldown. So that's pretty cool in itself. Let me put this out. It's pretty cool. I think the maximum number of umbrellas you can have summoned at once at A0 is 3. If it's not 3, it's 4. If it's one of those two numbers, I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I do know. So we're going to go into the Bygone Phasm. I wish I could showcase in the water, but I honestly do not know the exact locations of enemies in the water, and they'll make this video way longer than what it has to be, so we're not going to do that. What I am going to do is... After this video, probably leak some gameplay or have the gameplay uploaded first. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe. I don't know. But let's go ahead and go into the Bygone Phasm, which is one of my favorite places to test anything. No, do not skip. Oh, God. I think I pressed skip. Help me. Well, it don't matter. I'm just showcasing the character. I'm not trying to clear the level. The level's very hard for me to clear because I have no healing. Then on top of that, I got to do a ton of damage. Not pretty at all. And my main team comp is supposed to be false. That's what I um, get the most damage with. So yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be using. So. We're going to build up her discharge skill. And then we're going to use that first. We're going to impress this. It's level 491, so I did it right. My CS is, bare, I mean, CS is high compared to my global count. We're going to press this skill. Okay, okay. I'm going to show you how I play this team. By spamming charge attacks. And making sure that I have the gas or the explosion version on. And I just spam charge that. I do not have it on. Okay. So this is the discharge skill. Right here. She summons this giant beautiful phoenix. Slams down our enemies. Cracks all their shields. And not only that, I have three umbrellas. So we're going to go up to here. And we're going to auto attack. And, over, and as we auto attack over time, it's going to summon other umbrellas. It looks like you only have three. So the thing about the alt is, it goes between these enemies and summons a giant blaze of fire. And then immediately after, it has this little connection line. And then these umbrellas start spinning. And I can spin with them now. And they'll spin with me. I can reactivate the spin just by simply jumping in the air and spinning. And this will deal damage over time, but it won't summon any more umbrellas. Alright. The umbrellas will slowly disappear until there's only one existing left. Let's back off with that. So yeah, that's pretty much this character's gameplay. I'm not saying this is how you play this character by any means necessary, but hold on, let me do something real quick. Let me do Annabelle's Discharge skill. Let me dash. This is how I usually play this right here. Which is why I can't wait for this to come out on Global, because this is exactly what I'm using right here. Discharge skill. After we do that, we're going to have these umbrellas. And we're going to... And we're going to spin right here with them. And then we're going to alt between them. 
It's gonna have that line right there, and they're gonna continue spinning. And it goes after after like all the animation and everything. I'll say it going like uh, 11 second. I killed the stage. Like 11 second cooldown, but we can exactly check what the exact cooldown number is because I don't remember. And not only that, this was A2, but the same rules still apply, right? You still get the spinning and all that other nonsense. What this is simply going to do, I think it adds more HP and just damage. But I'm not 100% sure, so do not take my word on it. But I did just obliterate those enemies, and I want to see something really quickly about this weapon before I end this video. Well, I probably have to get out the bygone phasm, which we are. And this is my new character skin. I forgot to show you guys what the character skin looks like at A3. It's a very beautiful skin. It's my favorite skin in the entire game. I think I just love this character too much. But if this skin is not fire, I, I don't I don't know what to tell you. And I also like the color black too. So let's go ahead and go over here. Click that. Let me click on her skill. Her skill, please. That's PvP. How do I get to the skill? There we go. Okay. That's the discharge. This is the skill. The skill has all this other stuff. That's the that's the summon the. Uh, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I, I I can't read that. But if I was the guess, I'll say 12 seconds because that's a 12, and I don't know what else that would imply. So. We'll go with 12 seconds, but like I said, after all the animation and everything, it's on like a 10 second cooldown, so it's spammable, which is the point, right? So, her skin now, I'm gonna show you her skin now, which, like I said, it's my favorite skin. It's this right here, it's beautiful. The umbrella turns black, the the clothes turn black, it gets white, she gets one singular, I don't know what that is, I'm gonna call it a sock, or a stocking, it's one of the two, I don't remember. If we zoom in, which we can't, look at the Jiggles figures. Look at the hair. She even has a black piece of braided hair with pink. This skin is gorgeous. You cannot tell me otherwise. Unlike when you look at Saki's skin. What the hell is this? All right, we're done. <laughs> Anyhow, that is the end of this video, guys. If you guys did like the video, do not forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next one. And I have a lot of hope. For the flame team on global. Like I said, I'll see you guys next one. Peace.